Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. What am I doing? Thank you so much for joining me in my workout today. I have a very special guest that joined me quite a lot during today's workout. Um, and her name is Luna. I've always wanted a gym dog. And today, I feel like she sort of acted like a gym dog. And it was really nice. So I'll periodically show her throughout today's session. Um, oh, my first showing is coming up. She's resting on my hoodie. Aw, <laughs> that's so nice of her. Hello. Anyway, so, oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have a lot to talk about. I was, I'm sorry, <laughs> I do have a head. Um, but I was just trying to do my uh, glute activation to get the workout started. And I really wanted to do my elevated, um, my elevated glute bridge really helps with my activation. I find it better then uh, regular glute bridge but then the second you get on the ground like Luna will sit and watch from the hoodie or the top of the stairs but the second I go on the ground she feels like that means it's it's go time it's play time so she doesn't really let me do the things that involve me being on the ground um, so that kind of mentally bothered me because um, I didn't feel like I got the full activation like I normally would but I also didn't really feel like I wanted to kick her out so um, I decided I'd wait till later to do them and then just carry it on. I, I find that um, my reverse hyper also acts really well just for glute activation. But usually I like to start the workout with both of them. Uh, I don't know, just like a double whammy of activation. Uh, but anyways, I did a couple different things this workout. I tried to do box squats, which you'll see coming up. And uh, all in all, it went well. I will announce that... Um, Oh, and I don't want to jinx it because usually when I announce stuff and I don't carry through, but I will announce that I am going to try to lose a little bit of weight. Um, oh, here, hold on. Here comes my first attempt at doing these box squats. Um, Y'all know that I have a lot of problem with just like regular squats and I kind of just uh, eliminated them altogether and uh, still think of them all the time and miss them, but know that they are not my friend and was doing the uh, belt squat. Uh, mostly sumo stance belt squat is what I do because uh, when I do my workouts at the gym, I told you I joined a gym that's really quiet and I go there a few times per week and I really hammer my quads there because they have a lot of great machines that really target my quads. So then when I do my at-home workouts, I prefer to do the sumo stance because I just feel like my quads get enough, uh, my quads get enough, uh, stuff. Anyway, so... These actually worked really well. I'm so happy that these worked out. Um, I liked how they felt. Uh, they didn't give me any of my kind of, I don't know, it's like hip impingement. Is that a word? Pigment impingement? Um, hip impingement. <laughs> or um, my pinch nerve stuff. That uh, didn't affect me at all here. I didn't feel it. And obviously I can't do very much weight because I am weak like a kitten. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I liked how they felt and I'm going to add them, keep adding them, maybe alternate between my uh, belt squat and my box squat. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I stopped my recording for a little bit because I thought, is this too boring? Should I start over? Uh, but I will carry on. Usually I like to have at least one interesting piece of commentary within the first minute because then people have no attention span and they'll stop watching. There she is! She's still watching me! What a nice friend! Uh, anyways, I was really happy with this, and yeah, I'll alternate between the, uh, box squats and the belt squats. I was also just kind of, like, curious overall how squats felt after not doing them for a while and doing other things that felt better and maybe targeted and, uh, strengthened some muscles that maybe weren't getting enough work before with my previous horrible squat, um, that just felt like a back movement or whatever, a hip movement. So this felt really good. So I'm so happy with that. And as I said before, I'm going to try to lose a few pounds. I was going over my diet and I realized that I eat... Oh, please subscribe if you feel so inclined. I found, I found that I eat like way too much fat. <laughs> so I didn't think about it because, you know, I think that back in the day... Oops, sorry. I closed the door off my back. Um, back in the day, I'm still doing it. Back in the day, there was a, like, a low-fat fad, and there's a lot of, like, low-fat, low-fat stuff, and then people eat low-fat diets, but then that no longer became trending, and then it became about, like, low-carb, um, and then it became about, like, carnivore, and, like, 
all these different like dye fads which like I don't fall for any of that crap but I did kind of get into the mindset that uh whatever fat's not scary at all I don't want to say it's scary but I felt like when I actually took a look at my diet I'm like I'm not paying attention to my fat content really at all and I should be because uh it was actually really high and it's like well for starters yeah I eat six eggs a day <laughs> I'll flat out say I eat half a dozen eggs every day because I have four at breakfast and then I have four as part of my lunch at work because I hate um eating at work so I just bring snacky things um so that right there is a lot and uh I just think I have the ratio of protein fat carb that I've been and it just kind of developed over time as like things change it's not like I've always been like this it just slowly like morphed diets diets workouts goals all these things just seem to morph sometimes seamlessly and then you don't even realize and all of a sudden it's like holy crap dude um for one I already know that my calories are too high and I was more focused on not having too many carbs and then ended up realizing like I eat too much fat and that's what I'm going to do as well as adding cardio I'm going to lower my fat and uh and then it will just by by default lower my calories and I'm going to start with some extra cardio I'm not going to like start full force because then you have nowhere to go so just making little tweaks um every few weeks to see you know if things uh change in a little bit for the better because I guess I just feel a little bit dissatisfied with myself nothing like too much where I have been in the past where I've let uh, fat gain sneak up on me and I've just been absolutely devastated when I look in the mirror and extremely frustrated still watching me um, I'm not at that place but I am at a place where I would like to I don't know maybe just stop so much going through the motions and feel a little bit alive again with um, you know purpose I guess with my workouts um, and just I could think I just want to feel a little bit better about myself so that's what I'm gonna do and I just started well, like I said I've been going to the gym so they have a step mill I really like doing intervals on the step mill like uh, going up the stairs really really fast or maybe running up them and then just walking up them and doing that and I've just started adding that as well as changing my calories so things are at the very very early stages I don't expect to actually see any changes for a while but maybe just you know the second you start making those changes you kind of already start to feel a little bit better so even just the cardio makes me feel a little bit I mean I always go for walks I always go for long walks but I don't get that kind of like heart pumping uh crap going on like I do when I do the intervals on the intervals intervals on the step mill uh, I like doing that so all in all, I think that things will be, you know, improved, improved changes. And I will have a confession because probably lots of people haven't even made it to this point in the video. So the number of the people that start watching the video has probably gone down um, to like 10%. So then if I confess things like hardly anybody is going to hear it at this point. But I will confess, oh no, I have a crush on somebody. And maybe that's why I want to lose weight because that's always what I do. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing though. I don't think any of the changes I'm implementing are like toxic. I try not to treat myself toxically. Um, I have a tendency to be the most toxic person in my life to myself. I don't think I'm like the only person. I don't really have that many people in my life anyway. So somebody's going to be toxic. So I might, might as well be the main, the main star in my life, which is me. Um, so I don't feel like it's super like that. But it kind of started like that. The second I realized, I was like, oh, crap. I have a really big crush on somebody. Um, and then I immediately just kind of started crying. Because it was like, here we go. Uh, they're not going to want me. I'm going to feel really rejected. I'm going to question everything. I'm going to uh, pick apart everything about myself and feel like if I were like this, this, or this, or if I didn't do this in my life, or if I was in this place in my life, or if I was this age, or if I look like this, then this person wouldn't reject me, or I'd be worthy of this person's affection. And like, I don't know what it is. I just get really down on myself the second I develop feelings for somebody because consistently consistently in my life 100% of the time when I've liked somebody it's been bad for my mental health and they've not been very good to me and it's just never ever worked out the way that I wanted so without anything at all other than just me recognizing that I have pretty good feelings for this person I started to feel really down um and you know they seem like a really good person um 
Oh, and I'll put a disclaimer. No, they're not tall or rich. Because they'll just assume. There she is on my little hoodie. They'll just assume it's some... I think that he's barely taller than me, actually. I'll say maybe he's 5'3". But I don't know. Um, now I've said too much. <laughs> Anyways, I like him because he's smart. But, uh, yeah. So I just feel like it's going to go bad. So that's why I'm trying to lose weight. Well, there you go. I confess it. And that's okay. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, I'm going to pause it to think. Oh, yeah. And so I told my friend. Oh, because I do have one friend. Well, she's a work friend. And uh, I asked her if she wanted to be best friends. And she said yes. But neither one of us is ever going to want to hang out outside of work because we both just want to be at home and we're introverted in that way. So I guess that's why we get along so well. But she uh, gives me a ride to work every day. She's my carpool, which is not... I wouldn't say it's a carpool because carpool means like you're kind of rotating who's driving, but she just drives. But I give her gas money, so don't think I'm such a mooch. I think she likes my company too. Anyway, so she's my friend. And I told her about this and um, I got down because I just thought, oh, this is going to, I'm going to get rejected. If I even bother to try, I'm going to get rejected. And then, you know, she's, she's pretty young. She's like 10 years younger than me, but she acts, you know, maybe more mature than me. <laughs> That's kind of common. Um, you know, that not to get too down on myself if it doesn't work out. Oh, I heard Luna going crazy upstairs. So I figured it was my shot. She was distracted by something. So I figured it was my shot to get this back into the workout because I was feeling guilty that I didn't do a proper set of this um so I successfully got 30 before she came back down and uh started jumping on me again but anyways my friend reassured me that you know it's okay if, uh don't have to take it like personally and that my person is out there I'll find somebody and blah blah, blah like a lot of people say which I get that's kind of like the standard response of you know if somebody says that they feel alone or they feel rejected um the standard response is like that your person is out there you're just not meeting the right people not looking in the right places and it's honestly like i get that that's going to be the reply but also like stop for a minute and like could you actually reassure yourself of that could you reassure yourself that it's your person is still out there if you were almost 40 years old and had yet to have a single boyfriend like I feel like you couldn't keep that, like, dream alive after a certain point in your life. Um, I could see that, like, in your early 20s. Yeah, still not had a boyfriend. Yeah, lots of life left. I could see that even in your late 20s. Never had a boyfriend. Yeah, well, you know, gotta get out there. But when you are almost 40 and you have never had a boyfriend, that is at some point a very big red flag in yourself and also in a situation where, like, realistically well i mean it's it's not irrational to be kind of hopeless about it at this point like please let me please at least acknowledge that i'm not being irrational when i say this may never happen for me because it's not ira- i just kind of want that validation that i'm not completely out to lunch with the with the thoughts and the feelings that i have that it might never happen because, I mean, logically, it very well could. Um, it's obviously a pretty weird milestone at that point to, to not have had that uh, by that certain age. I mean, that's, that's pretty weird. So, not, and not like just a doom and gloom negative nilly about myself in that regard. But come on, I mean, I'm not being super rational here. She's still watching, but now she's getting bored. Um, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to be like, yeah. I want one person to say, and a person that cares, I want one person to say, like, yeah, maybe you will end up alone forever. Maybe you will never have a boyfriend by the time if you pass away at 92. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that I'm going to live into my 90s because my grandma is 101. I have a grandma that's still alive, and she's 101. And so, and also, too, like, my mom is 74, and she still seems really young and, like, does a lot of, like, physical work in the yard and stuff. So I just kind of feel like genetically because of my mom's side i feel like um i very well could be like 90 something uh where was i going with this so uh yeah i could be 90 and still be like you know having the great grandkids over or whatever and be like guess what grandma (laughs) great grandma has never had a boyfriend will what age will people stop telling me that might happen 
will I be 80 and be like, damn, I still never had a boyfriend, but I have this crush on this, like, old guy. And then they say, you know, well, it still might happen. Come on. They're still, like, what are they going to say? You're still young? Oh, come on. Anyways. Well, finally, I am done my workout, and Luna is so happy because she seems so bored at the end. Bye, everybody.